1800 Cedar next to Party Plus. When you need it, rent it at A1, A1 Rentals. This is Saints Game Day, driven by Placer Motors on Sports 94.9 and Sports94.9.com. Welcome back to the PE Center, Jason Walker and you, and we're inside the Century 21 Heritage Realty Broadcast booth. Carroll College taking on the University of Providence tonight and the Frontier Conference opener for both. We talked about the Argos and their leaders. Well, how about Carroll? Well, it's Hannah Dean, 14.3 points, 6.3 rebounds per game, and also had two and a half steals per contest as well. Christine Denny, 2.8 assists uh, contest which is well under what Maldonado leads uh, the Argos with, uh, almost eight, and Taylor Salonen averaging uh, s .67 blocks per game, uh, leading the way for Carroll. And, you know, it's Hannah Dean with leading. Uh, last year she led in every single statistical category, the major ones that I just gave you, and this year so far leading in three. But, you know, Hannah enters tonight, the senior out of Gardner, 42 points from 1,000 points for her career and needs 61 more rebounds uh, to get to 700 for her career as well, an unbelievable career. And let's remember, she played behind Cassie Cosina for a lot of those years. Last year, a breakout year with Cassie out with the medical red shirt. We'll take a break, we'll come back. Saints game day driven by Placer Motors continues from the PE Center on Sports 94.9. Home for the holidays, that's where you'll wanna be when you get a new dining room set from Rockers Furniture. Whether you need a small dinette for your kitchen or a large expandable table for your dining room, Rutgers has the selection with over 40 sets in stock to choose from. Bulma financing is available and most purchases over $299 with approved credit. Ask for details. You'll really love being home for the holidays when you get your new dining room set from Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Hear ye, hear ye. I bring it thee a message from... Ahem, a message from the king and his new trumpeteer, Stephen. The king wishes me to convey his favor to thine team and thine tailgate. Not yet. He invites thee to let the Bud Light flow forth. And he also wishes me to tell thee that he toasts thee. Wait up until the end, Stephen! With Game Day's favorite light logger and the slogan of his kingdom. Go! Oh, dilly dilly! Enjoy responsibly Bud Light Beer, ABC, and Lewis, Missouri. Presenting the all-new three-row 2019 Subaru Ascent from Placer Motors. It's the biggest SUV they've ever made, with room for up to eight. Choice of second row captain's chairs or bench seating, plus standard symmetrical all-wheel drive with up to 27 miles per gallon. The 2019 Subaru Ascent. Love is now bigger than ever. EPA estimated highway fuel economy for 2019 Subaru Ascent and Ascent premium models with standard equipment. Actual mileage may vary. Test drive the 2019 Subaru Ascent today at Placer Motors. This is John Lockert with the Century 21. The real estate market is in full swing with homes selling very quickly. Quite honestly, there's a shortage of inventory. So if you're thinking of selling your home, now is a great time. Give me a call and I'll give you a market analysis so that your home can be optimally priced. Plus, I'll look your home over and help you decide what needs to be done to make sure it shows at its best. Then we can get it marketed with the help of the most widely recognized name in real estate, Century 21. With not only internet placements, but social media sites. Give me a call at 439-0650 if you want to experience relentless excellence. This is Saints Basketball on Sports 94.9 and Sports94.9.com. It doesn't get any bigger than this. A top 20 battle to start the Frontier Conference portion of the season. The Saints rank seventh, the Carroll women. And number 18, the University of Providence, the Argos. Two eight-year head coaches going at it. It is a big one tonight, the first of 18 in the Frontier Conference, and we'll have your starting lineups and your tip-off when we return to the PE Center. It's the Saints and the Argos next. This is Carroll College Basketball on Sports 94.9 and Sports94.9.com. In this time of giving thanks, Meineke Car Care Center salutes the veterans. 68, we did a tour to Vietnam. I got extended over there when they built the Berlin Wall. Over in Hawaii and then Vietnam. He was in the Army for eight years. All over the place. Our son is serving in uh, Minnesota. He was a uh, first lieutenant, David Ballard. I really appreciate the people that have put their lives on the line and the, for the men and women that can't be here today. And we just greatly appreciate all the veterans that come in here, and we're happy to serve them as they've served us. Thank you to all veterans in active duty military from Kim and Chuck at Meineke Car Care Center. 
This is Jan at Toyotathon. How can I help? Hi, Jan. Is Toyotathon still on? Yes, it is. We still have incredible deals like low APR financing and lease offers on our amazing Toyota vehicles. But you better hurry. It all ends January 2nd. Um, Mom? Hi, honey, yeah. <laughs> How did you get on this line? Well, this is a time for family, so your father and I decided to come and help you out. James, honey, say hello. Hello, Jenny. Mom and Dad, I'm kind of busy with a customer right now. Hi, Jan's mom and dad. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sure he doesn't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. And what Jan was going to say is this is the perfect time to save on the sporty Camry, adventurous RAV4, bold Tacoma, versatile Highlander, and more. Wow, that sounds great. Huh, that was actually spot on. Thanks, Mom. Well, your father's here, too. Toyota, let's go places. Not all customers will qualify, so your participating dealer for details. Right now, you can get incredible Toyotathon savings on your favorite Toyota models. Shop online at buyatoyota.com or see Toyota of Helena today. Toyota, let's go places. When trains were the go-to mode of transportation, people demanded a clean atmosphere, a friendly crew, and a comfortable stay. The Money Train is on track with their staff to keep that same old-fashioned friendly attitude to greet you each time you walk into their casino. So grab a drink and watch the game and join the iRewards to win extra cash. Then enjoy the early bird and night owl rewards, drawings every 30 minutes, happy hour, and the best new and classic games across from Murdoch's all aboard the Money Train. A money train casino. As temperatures go down, the bugs come in. With nighttime temperatures dropping, crawling and playing insects are looking for warm places to hide. Take advantage of the fall spider spraying from Nitro Green. They'll do your exterior perimeter as well as an inside spray for spiders and other insects. Call for details today and schedule early to keep those bugs out. Call Nitro Green 443-5088. This is Carroll College Basketball. Wagner with the offensive rebound. Now Denny's going to have another chance. Puts it up. Count it in one. Tip-off is next. Jason Walker back at P-Center. Number seven, Carroll. Number 18, Providence. The first Frontier Conference game of the season. And the Argos, coached by Bill Himmelberg in his eighth season. I just poked myself with my pin, <laughs> or also as a pen. But the Argos will start Emily Maldonado, a 5'5 sophomore from Sunnyside, Washington. Jenna Randich, 5'7 junior from Olympia, Washington. Reed Hazard, 5'10 freshman from Portland, Oregon. Parker Esri, the 6'1 sophomore from Kalama, Washington, and Tristan Murphy, 6'1 senior from Stanwood, Washington. And for head coach Bill Helmelberg, his eighth season assisted by Crystal Smith and Jasmine Storr. So a lot of Washingtonians on both rosters, especially though for the University of Providence. So the Carroll women will start Jaden Lyman, a 5'3 sophomore from Spokane. Danny Wagner, 5'9 sophomore from Haver. Christine Denny, 5'9 sophomore from Fairfield, Washington. Hannah Dean, the 6'1 senior from Gardner. And Brittany Johnson, 5'7 senior from Spokane for head coach Rochelle Sayers in her eighth season, assisted by Gary Turcott and J.D. Solomon. Hannah Dean, the reigning Frontier Conference Women's Basketball Player of the Week. Some confusion on who actually is starting for Providence. It's right, so no fouls. No harm, no foul, I guess. All right, Saints in their home grays with the purple numbers and letters and gold trim with the purple shoulders. Argos in the road, blues, white numbers and letters, green trim. After the Argos switch from blue and gold to green and blue. Saints win the tip, and it's Brittany Johnson moving right to left. Over on the far wing, now Danny Wagner. Oh, back to the far wing on the right side of the floor for Jaden Lyman. We get a foul underneath on Tristan Murphy, holding on to Christine Denny. So that'll be her first. And the first team foul of the quarter on the Argos. So Johnson will trigger the inbound, 15 seconds in, no score yet. 
Inbound to Christine Denny on the block. Kick out, Johnson, dribble, three ball on the way from the corner, no good. And Esri with the rebound. Now led up ahead to Emily Maldonado. This is a high scoring team. The Argos are. 30 seconds in, no score. Murphy top of the key. Jenna Randich went back door and then blew the wide open layup. She got around Brittany Johnson and just missed the easy one. Now Johnson into the front court. Dean got some separation from Esri, drives baseline, tried to reverse, and Esri steals it away. A lot of contact. And back the other way goes Reed Hazard. She'll find Murphy baseline, dump off to Esri, who overshoots the bucket. And then a foul on Murphy, and that'll be her second. And the second team foul. So Providence has missed two wide open looks underneath as Molly Schmitz checks in, the 5'11 freshman from Great Falls High. Had a nice career for her dad, Jerry, for the Bison. Now Jaden Lyman, still no score. Hannah Dean leaves it off on the near side for Johnson, and Brittany dribbles up on top. Minute 10 gone by, no score here in the first quarter. Wagner in the lane, lost it. Gets it back to the free throw line and finds Hannah Dean. Dean's going to get to the free throw line. She'll fire, missed it, rebounded by Hazard. And Hazard pushes it up the floor. Maldonado with a little attitude. And then another layup is missed. This one by Hazard. So the Argos 0 for 3 on layups. Now Lyman, nice backdoor pass, and Brittany Johnson wasn't expecting it. A great pass from Lyman, and Johnson didn't know it was coming and turns it over. Still no score. Minute 45 gone by. Maldonado crosses midcourt. See Halo logo. Gives it off to Schmitz. Schmitz drives, puts it up. Again, a missed layup. And Danny Wagner with the rebound. So 0 for 4 are the Argos, and all from point blank range. And now Johnson top of the key. 7.50 to go first quarter. No score here at the PE Center. Wagner's going to drive. She tried to dish it off to Hannah Dean, who started right. The pass went left. And the Saints turn it over again. So the story of this game, Carroll's turnovers and Providence's missed layups. And we still have no score. 7.47 to play first quarter. Now Maldonado. Angles left side, working on Lyman, and a foul on Lyman, and that'll put Maldonado at the free throw line. And now both coaches upset with the officiating. Maldonado, 76.5% free throw shooter, averaging 14.3 points per game, third best on the team. And the first free throw is on the way, and it is off the mark, no good. So we remain scoreless. 2.20 in. Second one from the sophomore on the way. And this one is good. So our first bucket of the night, our first points of the night, and it's 1-0 Providence. 7.40 to go in the quarter. Denny, top of the key. Gets around the screen and then traveled with it. That's three straight turnovers on Carroll. So the Saints with three turnovers and trailing one nothing. Now Randich, dribble drive, free throw line, kicks it out left side for Hazard, and now Schmitz top of the key. Maldonado goes baseline, double team, puts up the shot, and there's the first field goal, and it comes from Maldonado. She has all three points. It's 3 nothing. Providence, 7 7 to play in the quarter. Dean top of the key. Passes right wing, Wagner. She'll bring it back top of the circle. Looking left, gets it into the post for Dean, working on Esri, kick out, Wagner. Free throw line, skip out, pass Denny, three balls off the mark. Dean with the rebound, and then the foul on Esri. That'll be her first. And that's one thing that Carroll was able to do in the three games last year against the Argos was get Esri into some foul trouble. It's a third team foul on Providence, and Hannah Dean heads to the line. And on the season, 85%, averaging 14.3 points per game, leading the Carroll women, and her first free throw is on the way, and it is good, and Carroll on the scoreboard. Taylor Salonen checks in. 
the 6'1 junior from Kalispell. Dean will get a second. It is up. It's no good. Rebound by Esri. 6.44 to play, first quarter, 3-1 Providence. Schmidt posting up on Salonen. Now up on top to Hazard. Hazard dribbles left side and leaves it back up on top for Emily Maldonado. 10 to shoot. Maldonado just broke Jaden Lyman's ankles and then missed the 15-footer wide open. Dean with the rebound. Lyman back the other way. Lyman fell down after getting crossed up. Maldonado missed. Now Salonen left elbow over to the right side for Lyman. She'll pass off to the wing for Brittany Johnson. 12 to shoot. Salonen posting up. Turns, puts it up. Partially blocked. And it's going to go off Wagner out of bounds to the Argos. So Carroll 0 for 5 from the field. Providence 1 for 6. And it's a 3-1 lead with 6 minutes to play in the first quarter. Argos on top. Maldonado to Schmidt, and now Randich has it up on top. A little three-man game, and now Hazard back over to the near side. Randich tries to lob it down inside to Esri. Pass is knocked away. Esri bats it up in the air, comes down with it, turns and misses from 12 feet. Hannah Dean with a rebound. So one for seven is Providence. Saints still looking for their first field goal, and Wagner comes left side. Hannah Dean. Now Salonen will fire a long two, and it's no good. And Esri with another rebound, her fourth already, with 5.20 to play here in the first. 3-1 Providence leading. Hazard gets around Wagner. Missed another layup. That's five missed layups for the Providence Argos. And it's 3-1. Saints trailing, have the ball. Lyman around the screen. Passes up on top for Salonen. Looks inside, now leaves it off for Brittany Johnson. And Johnson, high post, Hannah Dean. She'll dribble against Esri, down to the block, miss it. Rebound loose on the floor. It's picked up by Schmitz. And Providence, Maldonado now, pushes it into the front court. Gets to the free throw line, backs it out, and shovels it off to Hazard. Hazard dribbles to the right elbow, leaves it off for Randich. Randich around Lyman, the layup is good. 5-1 Providence, 4.32 to play, first quarter. Saints 0 for 6 from the floor. Providence 2 for 9, Carroll's turned it over three times. Dean traveled, and now Carroll's turned it over four times. And we get a timeout on the floor, much needed for the Saints, who trail on the Bud Light scoreboard 5-1, 4.19 to play, first quarter. We're back in a minute. This is Carroll College Basketball on Sports 94.9. D.A. Davidson and Company, helping Montanans achieve their long-term financial objectives since 1935. As the largest financial full-service firm in the Northwest, ensuring that their clients are invested appropriately throughout their investing and retirement lifetime, giving you the confidence that your finances are keeping pace with the rest of your life. Maybe it's time you make your move to D.A. Davidson and Company, 40 West 14th Street, Helena, Artisan Block, client-focused, community-connected. Member SIPC. Hello, everybody. This is Sam Waters, President and CEO of First Community Bank. Here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I wanted to thank you all for being part of our bank and share how this time of the year always has me thinking about how grateful I am. Grateful for my family and friends and the privilege of belonging to a close knit community that knows the importance of being there for each other. So thank you again. Merry Christmas and join us as we all look forward to a happy and healthy New Year. First Community Bank, member FDIC, equal housing loan. Well, two of the best teams in the NAI struggling right now. Carroll College ranked seventh in the country. It's 0 for 7 from the floor. Providence ranked 18th, 2 for 9, and they missed four layups. But the Argos have the 5-1 lead with 4.19 to play in the quarter. Saints with four turnovers. Providence is yet to turn it over. Maldonado, cross half court. Sienna Swanick, Michaela Olsen in, and Swanick comes up with the steal. Emma Madsen in as well for the Saints. Now Olsen, near baseline, back up on top, Swanick. The freshman from Nine Mile Falls, Washington. 
Leaves it for Emma Madsen. A three on the way, no good. Swanick tips the rebound and steals it away from Esri. New shot clock for the Saints as Olsen leaves it for Madsen. Penetrates, loses the handle, gets it back. Double teamed in the lane. Kick out to Olsen on their far wing with 3.44 to go in the quarter. Now Swanick up on top. Now Salonen. She'll drive on Esri. She'll spin, lose it, and kick it back out to Swanick. Ten on the shot clock. Now five to shoot as Salonen on the right elbow hands it off to Swanick. She'll fire it up and miss it short. Rebounded by Molly Schmitz. Maldonado finds Esri running the floor. Missed another layup, but this offensive rebound, the first of the game. For Kennedy Cartwright. Schmitz drives, puts it up and in. It's 7-1 Providence with three minutes to play, first quarter. Swanick picks up her dribble, passes off to the right side. Salonen's going to fire a three. It's off the back iron, no good. Carroll now 0 for 10 from the floor and 0 for 4 from three. Providence looking to beat its fourth-ranked team of the year as Esri got loose, missed it. A lot of body contact. No call on either way. Maldonado, a deep three. It's good, and it's 10-1 Argos. 2.30 to go, first quarter. And Maldonado with six. Olsen, the senior from Lewistown, dribbles up on top. Now left elbow, fires, misses, no good. Rebounded by Schmitz. And that shot actually from the right elbow. I beg your pardon. Now Maldonado working on Swanick, leaves it for Cartwright. She'll miss. Wagner with a rebound. Wagner's got a two on three. She'll take it herself. She'll stop. Kick out Olsen, long two. No good. Rebound Schmitz. Carroll out rebounded now 12 9. Maldonado another three. This one no good. Rebounded by Danny Wagner. 140 to go in the quarter. It's 10-1 Providence, and Carroll 0 for 11 from the field. Taylor Salone at top of the key. Now right side for Madsen. She'll turn and fire along two. It's no good. Maldonado with the rebound. Red two. Red two. 10-1 Providence. 75 seconds to play first quarter. Molly Schmitz. Horandich up on top and now Cartwright on the left side. She'll get a screen up on top from Esri. She'll drive all the way to the baseline. She'll put up the shot, no good. So another missed layup, but she'll shoot two free throws. The foul on Danny Wagner. That'll be her first. Second team foul. And Cartwright will head to the free throw line. 70% on the air, 7 out of 10, averaging 3.6 points per game. And a chance to make it a double-digit lead, and she does. It's 11-1 Providence. Kirsten Pimperton in. And Alicia Otis in, 6'5 freshman from Kennewick, Washington. With 65 seconds to play. As Dean, Lyman, and Denny return for the Saints. As Coach Sayers trying to find anybody to find a, make a basket at this point. 12-1. Providence leads. Lyman into the front court. Angles to the far right side. Leaves it to the free throw line for Madsen. Back door, Christine Denny. There's the first bucket of the game. And the Saints are within nine. It's 12-3. That was a well-designed play and well-run by the Saints. Pulled it within nine at 12-3. Otis wants it down low. And instead, Maldonado has it up on top. Over to the left side, Pimperton, or Pimperton will try a three, and it's good. Check that, that's Molly Schmitz. It's 15-3 Providence. Top of the key, Madsen. Spins the pass into Dean, works on Otis, fires from 10, off the mark, rebound, Cartwright. 15 seconds to play in the quarter. Providence can hold for the final shot with seven seconds to go. Maldonado, a deep three from the top of the key. That one might have been partially blocked. It's going to go out of bounds, and it'll go to Carroll with 2.7 to play. She, and Maldonado's arguing that it was blocked. Lyman's going to take the inbound. Lyman's going to fire from half court. Well strong 
and a very forgettable first quarter for Carroll College women. On the Bud Light scoreboard at the end of one in Helena, it's Providence 15, the Saints 3. We're back in a minute. This is Carroll College Basketball and Sports 94.9. Nobody sells for less. Nobody. During Mattress Firm's year-end closeout sale, right now get up to 50% off select floor models. Plus, save up to $500 store-wide and get up to $300 Mattress Firm bonus cash. Sleep happy on a Sealy Firm queen set for just $299.99. Plus, sleep interest-free for five full years during Mattress Firm's year-end closeout sale. Nobody sells for less. Nobody. Adults, this winter, have yourself a grown-up snow day with winter tires from Michelin and build a snowman on a Tuesday. Between November 14th and December 14th, you can get a $70 reward card after submission with purchase of four new Michelin passenger or light truck tires. Serving customers' needs yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Save at Eagle Tire across from Eagle Loop Express in North Montana. See michelinman.com slash promo for details. Offer expires 12-14-2018. Void where prohibited. <laughs> This is Saints Basketball on Sports 94.9 and Sports94.9.com. Jason Walker back at the Century 21 Heritage Realty broadcast booth as University of Providence leading Carroll College 15-3 as we start the second quarter. And Tristan Murphy back in with the two fouls. Neither team shot great in that first quarter. Carroll just one of 16. Providence was 5 of 17, but they missed five layups down low. Hazard for Murphy high post. Skips it left wing for three on the way by Randich is off the mark. And Hannah Dean with a rebound. Dean, Lyman, Olsen, Madsen, and it's Denny on the floor for the Saints, and it's Madsen. Dribbles down to the right wing, hands it off there to Mikhail Olsen. She'll bring it back up top of the key. Come left side for Christine Denny. Denny, high post, Madsen, dumps it off to Dean. The ball knocked away from Esri. Dean picks it up, drives the lane, somehow threw it up and in. Dean's first points is 15-5. Maldonado leaves it over for Murphy, and she'll hand it off left wing for Randich. She'll bring it middle of the floor. Drive down, kick out for... Hazard, Hazard, a jump stop, the crossover in the lane, and the left-hand scoop shot is good at 17-5. 8.48 to play first quarter, or first half, rather. Dean to Denny. She'll bring it up on top. Denny circles her dribble, passes back to the wing for Lyman. Fires the pass down inside to Madsen. She'll drive and miss the bunny. Tristan Murphy with a rebound. It is 17-5, Providence with 8.22 to play in the half. Maldonado against Lyman. Spins, puts it up, no good. Another missed layup for the Argos. Dean with a rebound. Lyman quickly down the floor. Passes out Madsen. Back to Lyman. Near corner, three is on the way. It's good! 17-8. Saints within nine again. 8.05 to go. First half. Carroll's hit three of their... Uh, uh, Three of the last four shots. Check it, two of the last three is, wow. Reed Hazard with a three and it's 20 to eight. And that's the third triple of the night for Providence here in the first half with 7.42 to play. Dean top of the circle. Put on the deck, drive, kick out. Denny, corner three is good. So two in a row for the Saints. 20 to 11. 7.30 to play, first half. Maldonado dribbles to the right elbow, picks up her dribble, leaves it up on top, Murphy. Now Randich, left wing. Cross court pass, near side, Maldonado, back up on top, Murphy, leaves it for Hazard. Hazard working on Denny, 10 to shoot, back door, Randich, stolen away by Michaela Olsen. Great D by Ole. Just the second turnover on the Argos as Olsen, left elbow, up on top, Madsen, and Hands off to Jaden Lyman. Lyman. And Emma Madsen hits the deck. A foul underneath. And Murphy's just picked up her third as she pushed 
mounts it to the floor. And now Murphy arguing with the official. And now she'll leave and Coach Himmelberg heads over. And a glare to the assistant coach, who's very vocal. Madsen out after the third foul on Tristan Murphy. Brittany Johnson in along with Taylor Salone. And it's Johnson out on the far wing. Clears everybody out and brings it up on top. 6.45 to play, first half. Lyman, free throw line to Salonen. Salonen's going to drive, jump stop, the crossover, and she traveled with it. That is turnover number five on Carroll. We trail 20 to 11 with 6.39 to play in the half. Maldonado, right side, Cartwright. Maldonado, lob pass down inside. Esri gets position around Dean. Missed it! Again from point blank range. That's the sixth or seventh bucket that Providence has missed within three feet of the basket. A tip rebound off of Salonen, so it'll stay with Providence with 6.20 to play in the half. Argos up 20 11. The inbound to Schmitz, who dives her body into Salonen's and draws the foul. That'll be her first. First team foul of the quarter, and it'll put Cartwright or uh, Schmitz at the line. Schmitz 83% on the air. She's five out of six, averaging 3.3 points per game. And the first free throw is up and good. 21-11. Argos 4-4-5 four, four, from the free throw line. Carroll one out of two. And the second one on the way is also good. And it's 22-11 Providence. Danny Wagner returns for the Saints. 6-19 to play, 22-11, Argos. Carroll, four for 20 from the field. Providence, not a lot better, seven out of 22. They've hit one more three and three more free throws. They lead by 11 as Dean. Spin, turn around 12-footer, short. Esri with another rebound, her sixth. Six minutes to play, first half, 22-11, Providence. Randich way out on the wing in front of the Saints student crowd. Cartwright, top of the key, Randich. 10 on the shot clock, high post, Esri. She'll drive. She traveled and missed the layup, and then Dean with the rebound. So Esri over from the field, and that's the eighth missed easy shot by Providence tonight. And I say easy because it's within three feet of the basket. 5.20 to go, Lyman. To Salonen, back out, top Lyman. 22-11 Providence, 10 on the shot clock for the Saints. Wagner near wing. Cartwright slaps and reaches, no call. Now Wagner. And a jump ball is going to get called. It'll be Carroll basketball as Esri came over on the help side and stole the ball, or tied up Wagner rather, as Otis in for the Argos and Nikki Kruger checks in for the Saints, the redshirt freshman from Kalispell. Otis, 6-5. Inbound, Salonen, quick shot with two on the shot clock. It's good. And it's 22-13. So the Saints, four for six from the field here in the second quarter after going one of 16 and a travel on Randich. And we have a timeout on the floor. 4.53 to play, first half on the Bud Light scoreboard. It's the Argos 22, the Saints women 13 back in a minute. This is Carroll College Basketball on Sports 94.9. Prime rib. When you want it, you crave it, and nothing else will do. But what happens when you're really hungry for prime rib on, say, Monday night or Thursday? Most restaurants only serve it on Friday and Saturday nights, you know. Well, guess what? The Overland Express serves tender, succulent cut with a fork melt in your mouth. Truly prime, prime rib. Any night you want it, seven nights a week. Be sure to top out dinner with your favorite dessert. What you want, when you want it. That's what they do at the Overland Express, where any time is prime time. The chances of a driver hitting a deer in Montana have gone up to 1 in 57. If you hit an animal, bring your damaged vehicle to Capital Collision Center. You'll receive a voucher for a free turkey when your repair is complete. The accident wasn't your choice, but Montana State Law says it's your vehicle and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Helena's only Ford F-150 Aluminum, Honda, Nissan, Acura, GM, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Kia, and Hyundai Certified Repair Shop. Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Free turkey offer is good now through December. 
KIMO HD3 Townsend, K235BW Helena, your home for the Saints. This is Sports 94.9. Twenty-two thirteen, Providence leading Carroll. Four fifty-three to play here in the first half. Carroll is four for six in the second quarter. Providence two for six, and the Saints chipping away at the Argo lead. Kruger, handoff Johnson. She'll drive. She'll put up the layup. It's good. Brittany Johnson with her first points, and it's twenty-two fifteen. Saints within seven. Four thirty-five to play in the half. Cartwright, free throw line, all the way to the right blocks, turns, left hand, puts it up, no good. Another easy shot, or close shot, missed by Providence. Wagner across midcourt for the Saints. High post for Kruger, leaves it off for Lyman. She'll fire a long two, it's good! Jaden Lyman has five, and the Saints are within four. Check it, five, 22-17. I can do math, I promise. Four minutes to play in the half. Maldonado gets around Lyman, puts it up and in. Maldonado has been able to get past Lyman at will tonight. The lead back to seven, 24-17. 3.50 to go, high post, left side. It's Kruger who hands it off to Wagner, who drives, who misses. Rebound, Molly Schmitz. The outlet to Maldonado. Left side, Cartwright gets into the lane, puts it up. Again, inside three feet and missed, and an offensive foul on the rebound on Alicia Otis. That'll be her first, second team foul. And substitutions as Esri returns. Reed Hazard and Kirsten Pimperton in. In for the Saints, Hannah Dean. Saints trail 24-17, 3.30 to play. First half here at the PE Center. Carroll 7 of 25 for the field. Providence 8 of 25. Dean inside against Esri. Turns, puts it up and over and in. And it's 24-19. And Hannah Dean pulls the Saints within five. Schmitz almost carried it, now Maldonado has it. Step back, 17 footer is good. Jaden Lyman's gotta play some defense on Maldonado. She's getting crossed up, almost fell again. That would have been the second time and Maldonado either getting around Lyman or is able to get space and Maldonado has 10 and it's 26-19. Johnson, now Dean, now Wagner. A three is good, Danny Wagner's first points. 26-22, Saints within four. 2.25 remaining in the half. Maldonado inside Esri, tipped away by Dean, into the hands of Wagner. And the Saints can make it a one possession game here after trailing by as much as a dozen. Dean on Esri, step back, 10 footer is good, the Saints are within two. 26-24, two minutes to go, first half. Maldonado leading the way with 10 points. Hits it to Pimperton. Pimperton working baseline, good defense there by Lyman. Now up on top for Maldonado who penetrates and tri she traveled and draws a foul. And that'll be Lyman second, team foul number two, and Maldonado heads to the line. Maldonado's first free throw is no good. Jenna Randich in. Sienna Swanick in for the Saints. Second one on the way from Maldonado is good. 27-24 Providence. 145 to play. A little pressure now in the backcourt. Swanick gets it up ahead to Wagner on the far wing. And she'll take a couple of dribbles and leave it for Swanick. She'll dribble down to the wing. 
and leave it up on top for Taylor Salonen. Wagner across the lane, the layup is good! The Saints are within one! It's 27-26, Carroll down by one. 80 seconds to play, and Randich a hand check on Swanick. Swanick's first, third team foul of the quarter. 80 seconds to play in the half. Saints down 27-26. They've outscored the Argos 21-12 here. 23-12 as La Dean steals the inbound. Swanick, right wing, Wagner. Back up on top, Swanick with 70 seconds to play. First half, Swanick. Looks confused out there. Now high post, it's Salonen. She'll get it to Dean in the lane. Dean turns over Esri, missed it. Rebound, Emily Maldonado. 52 seconds to play in the half. Maldonado picks up her dribble. Now right side for Hazard. The ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Providence with 45.4 remaining. Argos lead 27-26. They led 15-3 at the end of the first quarter. And the Saints, a much different quarter here in the second. Maldonado, 15 on the shot clock, 38 seconds to play in the half. And Salonen sips it off of the hands of Molly Schmitz out of bounds. Turnover on Providence, now they're eighth. As Otis back in and Esri out. Saints ball, 27-26, Argos lead. 34 seconds to play in the half. Randich, or rather, yeah, Randich forces the turnover after Swanick just lobbed it over the head of Brittany Johnson. So 25 seconds, Argos can hold for the final shot. Leading 27-26 here at the half. Maldonado walks it up the floor. Johnson picks her up, three-quarter court. That's an elbow on Maldonado as Maldonado gets to the free throw line, kick out. Hazard three on the way is good. And it's 30 to 26 as the shot no good at the half. But at the half, the Saints have at least made it a ball game. They got their way back into it, fighting hard in the second quarter. It helped that they made some shots. They made 10 of 14 in that second quarter. And after one half of play on the Bud Light scoreboard, it's 18th ranked Providence 30, number seven Carroll 26. We're back in a moment with the post game show or the uh, wow, wow halftime show. This is Carroll College Basketball on Sports 94.9. The 2019 Subaru Crosstrek is waiting for you at Placer Motors. It's ready for adventure with standard symmetrical all wheel drive plus 33 miles per gallon with eyesight driver assist technology available for an extra set of eyes on the road. According to Kelly Blue Book, the Crosstrek has the lowest five-year cost to own in its class for two years running. Love is out there. Find it in a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. Start your love affair by test driving a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek at Placer Motors. The home team breaks the huddle with O'Neill and Fork and wide left. Wide right, it's Clark. The double threat of Wood and Linden is lined up behind Terry Alt. Capital City Realty has quite the lineup. And they're led by Laurie and Randy Kutnick along with Deb Wong. How many winning seasons does the home team have? Capital City Realty is on a five-year run. They're past the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. They could go all the way. What a team. Capital City Realty and property management. When service matters, call on the home team. When trains were the go-to mode of transportation, people demanded a clean atmosphere, a friendly crew, and a comfortable stay. The Money Train is on track with their staff to keep that same old-fashioned friendly attitude to greet you each time you walk into their casino. So grab a drink and watch the game and join the iRewards to win extra cash. Then enjoy the early bird and night owl rewards. Drawings every 30 minutes, happy hour, and the best new and classic games. Across from Murdoch's, all aboard the Money Train. A money train casino. What's that sound? What's that smell? It's the furnace. Dad, are we gonna freeze this winter? Why? Because the furnace doesn't sound so good, and it doesn't smell so good. You're right. I'm calling Three Brothers. When did you get so smart? It's called survival, Dad. Three Brothers Plumbing in Haiti. Quality products from York. Install confidence with York Furnaces and Three Brothers. They treat you like family. 449-4343. Professionals who care. Three Brothers is there. 
Don't miss holiday savings going on now at Furniture Showroom. Make your holiday furniture selection from our large assortment of top quality name brand home furnishings. At Furniture Showroom, you'll find fantastic holiday prices on sofas, recliners, sectionals, reclining sofas, rockers, leather, TV consoles, occasional tables, extremely affordable therapeutic beds, and more. 12 month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. Don't miss holiday savings going on now at Furniture Showroom, 2200 North Last Chance Gulch in Helena. The best time to prune trees and shrubs is when they're dormant. November through March is the optimal time. Call Nitro Green now to schedule your dormant season pruning. Their ISA certified arborist and crew of skilled technicians can quickly and accurately prune your trees and shrubs for optimal health. Call Nitro Green now to schedule while appointments are still available. 443-5088. Knowledge is in our nature. It's halftime. Back to the Century 21 Heritage Realty broadcast booth for a recap of the first half. Here's Jason Walker on Sports 94.9 and Sports94.9.com. Jason Walker back at the PE Center halftime and Providence leading Carroll 30 to 26. As it was a tale of two games in one half of play. The first quarter was all Providence as they shot 5 out of 17. It wasn't great, but they led 15-3 because Carroll went 1 for 16 from the field in the first quarter. And it was 15-3 at the end of 1. Providence has been very balanced. They've scored 15 points in each quarter. In the second quarter, however, the Saints outscored the Argos 23-15 as the Saints go 10 of 14 from the field in the second quarter so that's much better and the shooting percentages neither is great but the Saints have made it a game they pulled it within one late before a three-pointer by Hazard her second of the day made it a four-point lead at the half 30 to 26 Providence has led throughout neither team made a bucket forever the Saints didn't get their first field goal until 55 seconds to play in the quarter, the first quarter. The Argos, well, both teams went scoreless for 220. And the Argos got their first field goal 250 into the game. Uh, and Emily Maldonado bucket, and she's pacing the way for the Argos to lead the way with 11. Saints, though, have done a great job again defensively on Parker Esri. And for three and a half games going back to last season, they have gotten into her head and she has been taken out of her game again tonight. And it also helps that Tristan Murphy's picked up three fouls for the Argos, and the Saints have been able to go down low and exploit a little bit of the size because Esri has fouled, but she doesn't want to pick up another. She has yet to score tonight, so the Saints doing a nice job defensively as well on the sophomore from Providence, who has been a Frontier Player of the Week a couple of times this year. Hannah Dean, the reigning player of the week for the Saints in the frontier, leading the way with 7.7 .7 rebounds. And it took her a long time to get going. In fact, it took all of the Saints a long time to get going. Providence is led by as much as 13, or rather 12, a couple of different times. And the last was with about seven and a half minutes to play. They led by 12, and the Saints have been chipping away ever since. And mentioned they got to within one with under a minute to play in the half, but a late three by Hazard, and uh, Argos have the 30 to 26 lead. We'll take a break. We'll come back. Halftime continues from the PE Center, and we'll give you your full stats. That is next on the Bud Light scoreboard. The Argos 30, the Saints 26. Back in a moment, this is Carol Basketball on Sports 94.9. Home for the holidays, that's where you'll want to be when you get a new Serta bed from Rucker's Furniture. Whether you need plush, firm, or pillow top, Rucker's has a Serta Eye Comfort, Perfect Sleeper, or Simple Dreams bed with the comfort level you're looking for at a price you can afford. 12 month financing is available with approved credit. Ask for details. Home for the holidays is where you'll want to be when you sleep on a new Serta bed from the America's Mattress Gallery inside Rucker's Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Hi, this is Dennis Hansen from First Community Bank. Regardless of what's going on in the world, the holiday season always brings me back to what I'm grateful for and reminds me that I'm grateful for so much. 
Hi, this is Tracy Keene from First Community Bank. I just wanted to share that as much as I like holiday parties and finding the perfect tree, what I really love is how people come together this time of year. Happy holidays. First Community Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hello, it is I, I'm Tim. Today, I speak up on behalf of Bud Light and the most sacred of traditions, the tailgate. In my days as a collegiate liege, I hosted the very first tailgate in Yon Wood. We didn't have coolers or sports. We were basically just in the woods. But we had Bud Light, so a tailgate it was. Anyway, I invite you to continue my legacy and enjoy Bud Light courtesy of me at your tailgate. Also courtesy of me. Dilly dilly. Enjoy responsibly Bud Light Beer, AB St. Louis, Missouri. It's football season! <laughs> And a great way to enjoy games is with your friends at the Overland Express. The Overland has several big screen TVs for your viewing pleasure. The Overland also features those incredible dragon wings and all your favorite nachos, not to mention the big juicy burgers with all the trimmings. Amazing food, service that makes you feel special, and a comfortable laid back atmosphere. It's football season at the Overland, 2250 11th Avenue. Come on in. D.A. Davidson and Company. Helping Montanans achieve their long-term financial objectives since 1935. As the largest financial full-service firm in the Northwest, ensuring that their clients are invested appropriately throughout their investing and retirement lifetime. Giving you the confidence that your finances are keeping pace with the rest of your life. Maybe it's time you make your move to D.A. Davidson & Company. 40 West 14th Street, Helena, Artisan Block. Client-focused, community-connected. Member SIPC. When trains were the go-to mode of transportation, people demanded a clean atmosphere, a friendly crew, and a comfortable stay. The Money Train is on track with their staff to keep that same old-fashioned friendly attitude to greet you each time you walk into their casino. So grab a drink and watch the game and join the iRewards to win extra cash. Then enjoy the early bird and night owl rewards. Drawings every 30 minutes, happy hour, and the best new and classic games. Across from Murdoch, all aboard the Money Train. A money train casino. You're listening to Saints Basketball on Sports 94.9 and Sports94.9.com. Jason Walker back at the Peace Center, 20, or, uh, 30 to 26. The Saints trail the Argos. We'll run through your first half stats here. Providence 10 of 28 from the field. They were 5 of 17 in the first quarter and 5 of 11 in the second quarter. They're shooting 35.7% for the game. 4 for 7 from 3. Reed Hazard has two of those, or 57.1%. 6 of 8 from the free throw line. 11 points for Maldonado, along with 3 assists. 8 points for Hazard. 7 for Molly Schmitz off the bench, to go along with 5 rebounds and a steal. She's played well. 2 points for Jenna Randich, who also has 3 turnovers. And 2 points and 3 rebounds for Kennedy Cartwright. Parker Esri, no points, six boards, four assists, seven turnovers, which have led to six Carroll points, a block and a steal for the Argos. For Carroll College, 11 of 30 from the floor, and that's a 10 of 14 effort in the second quarter, still at 36.7%. Three of eight from three, one for two from the free throw line. Seven points, seven rebounds for Hannah Dean, a couple of assists, a couple of steals as well. Five points and four rebounds for Danny Wagner, five points for Jade Lyman, five for Christine Denny, Two for Brittany Johnson, two for Taylor Salone. And the Saints with seven assists, seven turnovers, has led to eight Argo points, one block, four steals. And the Saints being out-rebounded 22-16, a 4-2 advantage for Providence in offensive rebounds. Providence bench outscoring the Saints 9-2. Saints with a 12-8 advantage in the paint. 7-1 advantage for Providence in second chance points, 8-6 advantage in points off of turnovers. And as good as Carroll played in the second quarter, let's not forget this game could be even further out of hand had it not been for the uh, Argos missing at least eight baskets from within four feet. That's 16 points off the board right there because they haven't been able to make a layup. And at halftime on the Bud Light scoreboard, it's Providence 30, the Saints 26, back with the second half in a moment. You're listening to Carroll College Basketball on Sports 94.9 and Sports94.9.com. In this time of giving thanks, Meineke Car Care Center is a loop for that I got extended over there from the Delta to Berlin Wall. I've been to Hawaii and Vietnam. He's been in the Army for eight years. All over the place. My son is serving in uh, Minnesota. He was a uh, first lieutenant in Santa Bella. I really appreciate the people that have put their lives 
lives on the line and the, for the men and women that can't be here today. Well, we just greatly appreciate all the veterans that are coming here, and we're happy to serve them as they serve us. Thank you to all veterans and active duty military from Tim and Chuck at Mighty G Car Care Center. As one of the original franchise pioneers, the Century 21 brand is taking great pride in being the most recognized brand in real estate globally for two straight decades. We're on a mission to defy mediocrity and deliver extraordinary experiences. As the most recognized brand in real estate for two decades straight, no less, Century 21 is perfectly positioned to provide you, the buyer or seller of real estate, an outstanding experience. If you would like to see what relentless excellence is like, give me John Lagerquist a call, 439-0650. Adults, this winter, have yourself a grown-up snow day with winter tires from Michelin and build a snowman on a Tuesday. Between November 14th and December 14th, you can get a $70 reward card after submission with purchase of four new Michelin passenger or light truck tires. Serving customers' needs yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Save at Eagle Tire across from Eagle Loop Express in North Montana. See MichelinMan.com slash promo for details. Offer expires 12-14-2018. Void where prohibited. Don't miss holiday savings going on now at Furniture Showroom. Make your holiday furniture selection from our large assortment of top quality name brand home furnishings. At Furniture Showroom, you'll find fantastic holiday prices on sofas, recliners, sectionals, reclining sofas, rockers, leather, TV consoles, occasional tables, extremely affordable therapeutic beds, and more. 12 month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. Don't miss holiday savings going on now at Furniture Showroom, 2200 North Last Chance Golf in Helena. When you need it, rent it at A1, A1 Rentals. You don't have to buy the equipment you need to do a one-time job. A1 Rental has everything you need for your project. If there's a special tool to get that job done, there's a good chance A1 Rental has it. A1 Rental, 1400 Cedar, next to Party Plus. When you need it, rent it at A1, A1 Rentals. Gets at the start of the second half. Jason Walker back in the Century 21 Heritage Realty broadcast booth as Carroll Call is trailing 30 to 26 to the University of Providence. This is the third ranked opponent the Saints have played here at home. They beat number eight Westmont, fell by five to number 14 the Masters. Coming up in a couple of weeks down in, Los, uh, in uh, Phoenix, the Saints will play the 15th ranked team in Our Lady of the Lake and the 16th ranked team in Menlo. And Science and Arts out of Oklahoma, which is receiving votes and is in that 27th ranked spot. So here we go. The Saints and the Argos back at it. Second half, Argo basketball to start the second half. Leading 30-26. Randich, Esri, Maldonado, Murphy, and Hazard on the floor for the Argos. And a travel on Esri. Good defense by Hannah Dean. And once again, getting in Esri's head tonight. And that is another turnover on Providence. Coach Himmelberg wanting a travel, or wanting to know why that was a travel. Back the other way, Dean. Turns around, left hand no good, rebound by Murphy. 30 to 26, Saints trail by four. Lyman, Wagner, Denny, Dean and Johnson on the floor for the Saints. And it's Randich, top of the key. Working on Johnson, gets to the right elbow, leaves it for Murphy on the left elbow. Gets it inside to Esri, who turns and puts it up, and there's her first points of the night. 32-26, Providence. Nine minutes to play, third quarter. Johnson, top of the key. Backs it out now with 15 on the shot clock. Now Wagner out on the left wing, far side of the floor to Denny. Denny around Murphy to the hole, puts it up and in. 32-28, and Christine Denny with the bucket. 8.30 to play, first or third quarter. Maldonado, step back, long deuce is good. Jaden Lyman having all sorts of trouble with Maldonado tonight, and it's 34-28, Maldonado with 13. Lyman, left side Wagner, 
And she'll go high post for, De for Dean. And Dean turns and puts it up and in. And it's 34-30. Saints within four again. Eight minutes to play third quarter. Hazard over the right side, Randich way out. Now up on top, it's Maldonado. Left elbow for Murphy, turns, no good, rebound. And Danny Wagner comes down with it. Wagner's got a one on three and wisely reverses traffic, backs out. Now Lyman for three, boom! The Saints are within one again. 34-33, 7.30 to play in the third quarter. Transition bucket for... Jaden Lyman, Hazard, double teamed up on top, comes left side for Maldonado. Baseline, Esri missed it again from inside four feet, and then Dean with the rebound. Saints can take the lead here with 7.05 to play in the third. Lyman top of the key. High post, Dean, hand off Johnson, top of the key. He lost the dribble, and Randich is going to pick it up on the far sideline. And then lose it out of bounds, but it goes apparently off of Danny Wagner. And we get a substitution. Molly Schmitz in. Schmitz, the freshman, who's played so well here in the first half. In the first half. Replaces Murphy, who has the three fouls. Randich way out right side. Up on top for Hazard. Argos lead 34-33. Now Maldonado has it. Crosses up Denny. Goes baseline hazard, her shot off the mark, no good. Rebound on the weak side by Danny Wagner. Up ahead, Lyman. Lyman's got Denny running the floor. It's up and in, and the Saints have the lead at the PE Center. 35-34, 6.25 to go in the third. First lead of the ball game for Carroll. And Maldonado again around Brittany Johnson. She'll put it up, no good. Rebound. Wagner's going to get called for the foul. That'll be her second, first team foul, and Kennedy Cartwright in for Reed Hazard for the Argos. Saints lead 35-34, 6-14 to play in the third. And now referee Tom Dwyer over to have some words for Hannah Dean and Parker Esri both. Schmitz takes the inbound at the right elbow. She'll drive down to the right baseline. Stripped away by Lyman. Picked up by Wagner. Wagner all the way to the hole. Uh, Wagner misses. Rebound. Hannah Dean kicks it out to Lyman with six minutes to play. 20 on the shot clock. Third quarter. Saints lead 35-34. Dean high post. Dribbles from the right elbow to the left elbow. Hands it off to Danny Wagner. A three. It's good. It's a long two. And it's 37-34. Carroll by three. 5.40 to play in the third. High post, Schmitz right at the free throw line. Out to Cartwright, out of the way. I don't think Kennedy related to Haas or Lil' Joe. Maldonado, lob pass to Randich. Nice touch pass to Esri. Up and in, and a timeout taken by Providence, and we're going to go ahead and take it with them. On the Bud Light scoreboard, it's... 5.23 to go in the third. The Saints lead the Argos 37-36 back in a minute. This is Carroll College Basketball on Sports 94.9. This is Jan at Toyotathon. How can I help? Hi, Jan. Is Toyotathon still on? Yes, it is. We still have incredible deals like low APR financing and lease offers on our amazing Toyota vehicles. But you better hurry. It all ends January 2nd. Um, Mom? Hi, honey, yeah. <laughs> How did you get on this line? Well, this is a time for family, so your father and I decided to come and help you out. James, honey, say hello. Hello, Jenny. Mom and Dad, I'm kind of busy with a customer right now. Hi, Jan's mom and dad. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sure he doesn't mind. Right? Yeah, I don't mind. And what Jan was going to say is this is the perfect time to save on the sporty Camry, adventurous RAV4, bold Tacoma, versatile Highlander, and more. Wow, that sounds great. Huh, that was actually spot on. Thanks, Mom. Well, your father's here, too. Toyota, let's go places. Not all customers will qualify, so your participating dealer for details. Right now, you can get incredible Toyota-thon savings on your favorite Toyota models. Shop online at buyatoyota.com or see Toyota of Helena today. Toyota, let's go places.
Welcome back, Century 21 broadcast, Heritage Realty broadcast booth, 523 to play third quarter. Carroll leading 37-36, led by three just moments ago before a bucket by Ezra, he cut it to one. But since the first quarter, Carroll College 15 of 21 from the floor. They started out one for 16, and they missed just six since and have built their way a lead now as Brittany Johnson over the left wing for Jaden Lyman. Lyman gets it to Denny, who's pushed by Randich, and now the handoff for Brittany Johnson. Johnson up on top, five minutes to play in the third, midway through with seven to shoot. Randich knocks it away from Brittany Johnson out of bounds with five on the shot clock and a timeout on the floor. 4.57 to play in the third on the Bud Light scoreboard. The Saints lead the Argos 37-36 back in a minute. This is Carroll College Basketball on Sports 94.9. What's that sound? What's that smell? It's the furnace. Dad, are we going to freeze this winter? Why? Because the furnace doesn't sound so good, and it doesn't smell so good. You're right. I'm calling Three Brothers. When did you get so smart? It's called survival, Dad. Three Brothers Plumbing and Heating. Quality products from York. Install confidence with York Furnaces and Three Brothers. They treat you like family. 449-4343. Professionals who care. Three Brothers is there. Nobody sells for less. Nobody. During Mattress Firm's year-end closeout sale, right now get up to 50% off select floor models. Plus, save up to $500 store-wide and get up to $300 Mattress Firm bonus cash. Sleep happy on a CD Firm queen set for just $299.99. Plus, sleep interest-free for five full years. During Mattress Firm's year-end closeout sale, nobody sells for less. Nobody. Well, we're at the exact same place we were 26 seconds ago. 4.57 to play. Third quarter, and the Saints lead 37-36. Carroll basketball, five seconds on the shot clock. Brittany Johnson will inbound far sideline. She'll get it into Hannah Dean. Dean will drive all the way against Maldonado. She'll put it up off the glass and in as the shot clock expires, and it's 39-36 Carroll. Nicely designed play from... Rochelle Sayers and the staff. Now Maldonado again breaks Jaden Lyman's ankles and hits a bucket. She has 15. 39-38, Saints by a point. 4.33 to play in the third. Lyman, top of the key, Denny. Inside Wagner and a foul underneath on Tristan Murphy, who, or no, this one will go on Kennedy Cartwright. Pushing through Hannah Dean, her first first team foul of the quarter as Esri and Reed Hazard back in. The inbound, Denny on the right block, working on Murphy, kicks it out to Lyman. 4.22 to play in the third. Saints lead 39-38. They trailed by as much as 12 as Wagner will fire another three, and it's good. Danny Wagner's two for two. She has 10 from downtown, and it's 42-38. And I should have phrased that the other way. She's two for two from downtown and has 10. With four minutes to play in the third, the Saints have their largest lead. Maldonado up on top against Lyman. Nice little push off. Gets it baseline Murphy, her 15-footer, no good. Esri with the rebound. Bounce it off of the foot of Danny Wagner out of bounds. Stays with Providence as Michaela Olsen checks in. And Brittany Johnson will check out with 3.50 to play in the third. Saints leading at 42-38 as Randich will trigger the baseline inbound. Get it into Murphy. Drives. Pushes her way through. Christine Denny up off the glass and in. 42-40. Saints by a bucket. 3.40 to play in the third. Denny, top of the key. Looking inside for Hannah Dean. Instead, hands it off on top for Lyman. Midway through the shot clock. Now Wagner's going to drive and kick it out to Denny, who saves it from going out of bounds. Now Denny gets it to Dean. Six seconds to go on the shot clock, and Dean drives the lane! Counted in a foul on Esri! Dean drove from the right to the left, or from the left to the right, and put it up and in with the right hand. The foul on Esri, her second. Team foul number two. And Hannah Dean at the line. She's one for two tonight. The free throw is up. And it's off the back iron. No good. And Murphy with a rebound. 
Saints lead 44-40, 3.15 to play third quarter. Maldonado, quick pass to Randich, baseline, no good from five or 10 feet away. Murphy, though, with a rebound. Up ahead, Randich, and now Hazard across the lane to Murphy up and in. 44-42. Nice look from Hazard to Murphy. Murphy with four straight. Her four points of the ball game. And it's 44-42, Carroll, 2.50 to play in the third. Dean, again, drives, pushed by Esri, bumped by Esri, and this time no call. And Dean missed the free throw. And Rochelle Sayers very unhappy with the officiating as Maldonado penetrates all the way to the baseline, kicks it out. Murphy now up on top, Hazard. Hazard who hit a three to end the first half. Now Maldonado a deep three. This one's well short, and Michaela Olsen with a rebound. 2.22 to play in the third. It's 44-42 Carroll. Dean to Denny, now right side Wagner. She'll dribble up on top. Pass left wing for Jaden Lyman. 12 on the shot clock. Lyman working on Maldonado. Gets it to Olsen. Olsen with seven to shoot. Now Denny inside to Dean. Dean turns, blocked, fouled. She'll shoot two. So maybe a makeup call from the non-call at the other possession. And Esri picks up her third. And team foul number three and Hannah Dean back to the line to shoot two free throws. One for three tonight, 13 points, nine rebounds in the ball game for Hannah Dean. The senior from Gardner knocks down the first as Otis and Schmitz return for the Argos. Salonen back in for the Saints. 45-42, Carroll by three. Nikki Kruger's going to check in uh, for the shooter, which would be Hannah Dean. And Dean hits the second. And she will exit with now 15 points as Nikki Kruger in to give Dean a breather with a buck 59 to play in the third. Saints lead 46-42. Maldonado's going to walk it up. Carroll now up to 46% shooting. Providence have, hovering around 38%. Randage up on top. Hand off Maldonado. Maldonado working on now Olsen. Switch to Lyman. And near wing Hazard, inside Otis, gets her around, Kruger puts it up and in. Alicia Otis at 6-5, makes it 46-44. 1.30 to play, 90 seconds in the third. Olsen, left wing, up on top, Lyman. She'll clear it out and come to the right side and leave it back up on top, Olsen, and now Wagner, high post, Salonen. Kick out, Lyman, near side. She'll skip it over to the far side for Wagner. And now inside it's Kruger. She'll spin, put it up too strong. And the rebound by Schmitz. Now Maldonado up the near sideline. Picked up there by Salone. The Saints in the zone. Skips it right side, Randich. Randich drives, 10-footer, short. Rebound, Nikki Kruger. Lyman with 45 seconds to play in the third. Gets it across midcourt. Kruger down low. Working on Otis, traveled with it. Turnover number nine on the Saints. Each team now with nine. Pimperton in. Forty seconds to play, third quarter. 46-44. Carroll leading Providence. Pimperton. The belt product leaves it off for Randich. Or check that, Maldonado. Maldonado drives. The scoop shot ties it up. 46-46. Saints can hold for the final shot with 20 seconds to play here in the third. Lyman, high post, left side, Salonen. Now we're back to the right side for Lyman. 10 seconds to play in the third. Olsen out on the wing. Lyman up on top. Dribbles down to the left wing. Olsen top of the key. Olsen with four. Olsen with three. She'll drive. The layup is no good. Schmitz with the rebound, and that's how the third quarter comes to an end. So the Saints have outscored the Argos 43-31 to 31 since the first quarter, and after three, we are tied on the Bud Light scoreboard. The Saints and the Argos each with 46. Back in a minute with the final 10. This is Carroll College Basketball on Sports 94-9. 
the chances of a driver hitting a deer in Montana have gone up to 1 in 57. If you hit an animal, bring your damaged vehicle to Capital Collision Center. You'll receive a voucher for a free turkey when your repair is complete. The accident wasn't your choice, but Montana State Law says it's your vehicle and it's your choice where you have it repaired. Choose Helena's only Ford F-150 aluminum, Honda, Nissan, Acura, GM, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Kia, and Hyundai Certified Repair Shop. Capital Collision Center on Euclid. Free turkey offer is good now through December. Presenting the all-new three-row 2019 Subaru Ascent from Placer Motors. It's the biggest SUV they've ever made, with room for up to eight. Choice of second-row captain's chairs or bench seating, plus standard symmetrical all-wheel drive with up to 27 miles per gallon. The 2019 Subaru Ascent. Love is now bigger than ever. EPA estimated highway fuel economy for 2019 Subaru Ascent and Ascent premium models with standard equipment. Actual mileage may vary. Test drive the 2019 Subaru Ascent today at Placer Motors. This is Saints Basketball on Sports 94.9 and Sports94.9.com. Forty-six, forty-six. as we head to the fourth quarter. Jason Walker inside the Century 21 Heritage Realty Broadcast booth. It'll be Saints Basketball to start the final ten minutes. Taylor Salone and Jaden Lyman. Michaela Olsen, Hannah Dean, and Danny Wagner on the floor. Maldonado, Randich, Murphy, Esri, and Hazard for the Argos. Down low, Wagner got a loose baseline, but a foul on Kennedy Cartwright, her second, second team foul, or first team foul of the quarter. 9.52 to play, 46 all. Olsen. Struggling to get it inbound, takes a five-second violation. And that's a tenth turnover on the Saints. Forty-six all. Nine forty-five to play in regulation. Randich, the drive, partially blocked by Salonen. Esri saves it from going out of bounds off of Salonen, so it stays with Providence. 16 on the shot clock, 46-46. Saints took their first lead in the third quarter with 6.30 to go as Sienna Swanick checks in for Olsen. After trailing the entire game, and the Saints have led from that moment on until the Argos tied it up just before the end of the third. The ball loose on the floor, and it's saved out to Maldonado for three, and Providence has the lead back. And Maldonado now with 20 in the ball game. And somebody should seriously think about guarding her. 49-46, Providence leads, 9.20 to play in regulation. Dean, high post, skips it left wing. Lyman, she'll try to answer with a three of her own! And it's good! And we have our second tie at 49. Good ball movement by Dean to Lyman. 9.05 to play in the fourth quarter, and Lyman now with 11. And Maldonado lost the handle, picks it up. Sets, gets a screen by Murphy, splits through the double team, kicks over to Murphy, she'll try to drive. Into the lane, spins, puts it up, runs all over Hannah Dean, and no call. But the basket's good, and the Argos have the lead back, 51-49. 8.45 remaining. Swanick top of the key to Salone at the free throw line. Kick out Dean, Dean. Drives the lane, misses, fouled, she'll shoot two. And that'll be on Esri, and that's her fourth. And the second team foul of the quarter. And Dean hits the first as Schmitz returns for Esri. Dean second, looking for the third tie of the ball game, and we have it. 51-51, 8-29 to play. Schmitz up the far sideline. Gets it to Jenna Randich right across midcourt. Randich working on the freshman. Swanick. Now up on top, Schmitz. Schmitz puts it on the floor, drives, stopped by Salonen. 
Shovels it off to Maldonado. Her stutter step in the lane again around Jaden Lyman. And she now has 22. And it's 53-51 Providence. Eight minutes to play. Dean finds Salonen, who was open, decided not to shoot it, and then draws the foul on Schmitz. If Taylor would have went straight up, she would have had probably two and a foul. This way she has a chance for uh, two free throws. The foul on Murphy is her fourth. And so Esri and Murphy each with four as Salonen's first free throw is good and Otis in. And Alicia Otis replaces Murphy. And Tristan Murphy just came off and told the coaching staff, we need to get out of the zone. 53-52, Saints look for a tie here. And we don't have it as Salonen misses the second. One point Argo lead with 7.50 to play. Randich. Ball fake in, passes right to Cartwright. Otis down inside, bumps it and puts it up and in. And it's a three-point Argo lead, 55-52. Lyman up on top to Danny Wagner. Wagner packed to the right side, Lyman. They're still in the zone, Providence is, as Wagner down to the right side, up on top, Swanick over the left wing, Lyman fakes the three, steps inside, 15-footer is good, 55-54, Saints within one with 7-15 to play, and Lyman now with 13. So both point guards having great games. Maldonado's a little bit better as Swanick diving to the floor, almost got the steal. Randich now inside for Cartwright, working on Dean, puts it up and in. 57-54 Providence. 6.50 to play. Salonen between the top of the key and the free throw line goes off to the right post to Dean who lost the dribble. It goes off of Maldonado as Hazard in for Cartwright. Emma Madsen's going to check in for the Saints. And so is Brittany Johnson. As Salonen out and Danny Wagner out. 6.40 to go. Saints trail 57-54 in the Frontier Conference opener as Christine Denny back in. And Lyman's going to get a breather. Swanick baseline, inbound. Gets it in on the wing to Denny. Back to Swanick in the corner. Now she'll dribble up on top. 10 on the shot clock. Swanick, high post, Dean working on Otis, gets around Otis, and Dean to the hole, off the glass and in. Hannah Dean with 19, it's 57-56. Providence by one, 6.25 to play. Randage fakes the three, drives, tried to dump it off to Otis, and Dean said, I don't think so, and the Saints get the steal. Each team with 10 turnovers. 6.12 to go. Dean again around Otis, counted and one, coming. And the Saints have the lead back. And Hannah Dean taking over. And that forces Bill Himmelberg to put Parker Esri in with four fouls. Because Otis burned two plays in a row. And Dean a chance to make it a two-point game. Otis is second. Team foul number four. And Dean... Knocks it down. It's 59-57 after the three-point play. The Saints have the lead back. And pressure now by the Saints at the backcourt. And a foul on Swanick for the hold. Well, you wondered when the fouls were going to start being called on Carroll because Providence has four in the quarter, and that's Carroll's first, second on Swanick. Saints back off the pressure. And Reed Hazard into the front court to the free throw line. Over to the right wing, Molly Schmitz. She'll drive on Madsen. A couple of former teammates going at it there as Esri misses again from point blank range. That's the 10th miss inside four feet for the Argos tonight. The Saints lead by two with 5.45 to go. It's 59-57. Dean working on Esri down low, trying to draw that fifth foul as Swanick dribbles up on top. 10 on the shot clock. Esri reaches around and steals it. Swanick, not a great pass. Now Maldonado. Free throw line, stops, dumps it off to Esri, who traveled with it. 
She tried to step around Hannah Dean, and that was not going to work. And the turnover on the Argos as Lyman returns. 5.22 to go. It's 59-57. Carroll by two. The Frontier Conference opener for both the Saints and the Argos. Argos have led by as much as 12. The Saints have had a four-point lead. They lead by two now as Johnson over to left wing, Denny. Denny to Lyman now. 5.05 on the clock. Lyman top of the key. Left side, Brittany Johnson. Three balls, going to be way short. Didn't have her feet set. And the ball off of Madsen. Or check it off of Randich. And I think we're going to get a reversal. And it'll be Argo basketball when we return after the break. 4.59 to play on the Bud Light scoreboard. It's the Saints 59, the Argos 57. We're back in a minute. This is Carroll College basketball on Sports 94.9. As temperatures go down, the bugs come in. With nighttime temperatures dropping, crawling and flying insects are looking for warm places to hide. Take advantage of the fall spider spraying from Nitro Green. They'll do your exterior perimeter as well as an inside spray for spiders and other insects. Call for details today and schedule early to keep those bugs out. Call Nitro Green, 443-5088. D.A. Davidson and Company, helping Montanans achieve their long-term financial objectives since 1935. As the largest financial full-service firm in the Northwest, ensuring that their clients are invested appropriately throughout their investing and retirement lifetime, giving you the confidence that your finances are keeping pace with the rest of your life. Maybe it's time you make your move to D.A. Davidson and Company, 40 West 14th Street, Helena, Artisan Block. Client-focused, community-connected. Member SIPC. Fifty-nine, fifty-seven. Carroll College leading the University of Providence. Four fifty-three to play. As Hazard out there with top of the key, dribbling on Emma Manson. Hazard reached by Denny. Careful, Christine. Now Molly Schmitz will drive on Emma Madsen. Seven on the shot clock, and Denny steals the pass away. Christine Denny looking like Drew Melton just reached in front and stole it away, the interception. And now Madsen, nice pass inside to Denny. Denny, great spin move! Whoa! And it's 61-57, Carroll. 4-15 to play. Maldonado, left elbow working on Lyman. Maldonado with 22 tonight. Gets into the paint and then passes over the right wing for Hazard. She'll try a long three. It's no good. Esri with the rebound. Blocked away by Dean. Out of bounds off of Esri. And it'll be Carroll basketball. As Murphy in and Molly Schmitz out. So both Murphy and Esri on the floor with four fouls. And Esri, two of 11 from the floor tonight. Hannah Dean with 22 to pace the Saints. Maldonado with 22 to pace the Argos. And Dean has it with 3.43 to go. Nice dump off down inside. Christine Denny alone again. And the Saints have their largest lead at 63-57. Christine Denny has gotten past Reed Hazard twice in a row. And it's a six-point lead, the largest of the night for the Saints. And a check, hand check on Madsen. And that'll be her first, second team foul. 3.25 remaining. 63-57, Saints by six. Argo is at 43, 42.5%. The Saints are right at 50%. Nice touch pass from Murphy to Esri, who bobbled it and then still comes down and put it up and in. 63-59. 3.12 to play. Lyman. High post, Madsen. She'll front up Murphy. Madsen back out to Lyman. Three minutes to play. Lyman dribbles to the right side. Now back up on top with 10 on the shot clock. Right corner. 
Brittany Johnson blocked by Randich. Dean picks it out of midair. Dean drives baseline. Knocked to the floor. No call. Blocked by Esri. Back the other way come the Argos. Maldonado. Tried to dump it to Esri. And Lyman tipped it away. And Jay Christine Denny comes down with it. With 2.33 remaining. Saints up 63-59 here at the P.E. Center. The 18th ranked and 7th ranked teams in the country. And Dean way out left side. And leaves it off for Brittany Johnson now. Johnson will bring it up on top. Pass back left side, Denny. Denny into the middle of the key. And now Dean from 15. And the mean machine has 24. And we have a timeout on the floor. 2.08 to go in regulation. The Saints lead 65-59. With 2.08 to go, a 30-second timeout taken by the Saints. We'll stay here. Dean now with 24 points, 11 rebounds, a double-double. The Saints, 26 of 53 from the floor. They've hit six threes tonight. Providence, 24 of 55. They've hit five triples. Foul trouble. Esri and Murphy each have four for the Argos. For the Saints, Lyman, Wagner, and Swanick each have two. Argo basketball, baseline, backcourt. Trailing 65-59. Each team with three timeouts remaining. The possession arrow favors Providence. Hazard. Pushes off on Denny and then spins in the lane and draws the foul and she'll shoot two. Dean's first, team foul number three and Reed Hazard will head to the free throw line. Hazard on the year, 92% hits the first. 12 out of 13 now on the year. 65-60. Second one on the way is also good, and a timeout taken by the Argos. 65-61, 30-second timeout. Two minutes remain on the Bud Light scoreboard here at the PE Center. The Saints, a, an abysmal first quarter. There's no other way to describe it. When they shot one of 16 and trailed 15-3 at the end of one. But then they started chipping away. They trailed by four at the half, took a lead with 6.30 to play in the third, and led for most of the third quarter before Hazard three tied it up at 46. Or rather, a bucket tied it up at 46 by Providence to start the fourth. And since the start of the fourth, we've had a couple of ties and a couple of lead changes. And the Saints have built a six-point lead. It's now down to four. And they'll face full court press. As they push it up the floor. Lyman, now Johnson, back over to Lyman, and she'll cross midcourt. 147 to play. 65-61, Saints have the lead. Denny near wing in front of the Saints bench. Holds the ball overhead. Now up on top to Dean. Dean will drive, lost the dribble. Esri had it, lost it. Dean picks it up. Dean puts it up, and Parker Esri's just fouled out of the ball game. And redshirt, one of the redshirt freshmen is going to get a talking to because she ran halfway out on the floor for the Saints. A no call, just a warning. Esri's just fouled out with six points, 10 rebounds. And Coach Himmelberg talking to the officials. And it'll be Molly Schmitz to check in. And Hannah Dean at the line. <laughs> Sitting here listening to the assistant coach for the Argos. Talk about the officiating in a not friendly manner as Hannah Dean's free throw is good. And it's 66-61. Carroll by five with 92 seconds to play. Dean now with 25. And now with 26, and it's 
90 seconds remaining. Randich. With a green hair tie. Matches the uniform color. And now Maldonado, who's had 22. Maldonado crosses up Denny, but Denny recovers and blocks the shot. Big block from the sophomore, Christine Denny. 65 seconds to go, 67-61, Saints lead by six. Denny, right side, Dean now hands off Lyman. We're under one minute to play. Lyman dribbles all the way out to midcourt. 10 on the shot clock, passes right side, Brittany Johnson. High post for Salonen. Salonen is going to drive on Molly Schmidt. She'll turn, she'll put it up and in! And the Saints lead by eight, 69-61 with 45 seconds to go. Maldonado tries to lob it down inside. It's knocked away off of Lyman out of bounds. Dean knocked it away. The pass intended for Murphy. It'll stay with Providence. 39 seconds to go. Saints lead 69-61. Brandich inbound near side. Schmitz long three is good. Timeout by Rochelle Sayers. Uh, or second by Bill Himmelberg in Providence. It's a 30-second timeout. And now it's a full timeout, so we'll stay here anyway. 69-64, Saints lead by five. 36.6 seconds remaining. Possession arrow favors the Argos, but the Saints have the ball. Providence down to one timeout. Saints in the bonus, shooting free throws. Chris, or, uh, Hannah Dean with 26 points, 11 rebounds. Lyman and Denny each have 13. 10 for Danny Wagner to pace the Saints. Salona just hit a big bucket. Maldonado at 22 to pace Providence. Schmitz and Hazard each have 10. Parker Esri's fouled out, six points, 10 rebounds. Tristan Murphy, six points, five rebounds, and has four fouls out there. As the R goes down to 44, or up to 44% shooting, the Saints still at 50%. And after a one for 16 effort in that first quarter that the Saints are shooting 50% is absolutely astonishing. Saints basketball, they'll come against full court press and the Saints take a 30 second timeout to advance the ball. Three quarter court, so they don't have to worry about the press now. So, Nothing has changed as Kennedy Cartwright will check in for the Argos. Since starting the game, one of 16, Carroll's 26 of 38. That's impressive. And they have the lead 69-64. Each team with six threes. Providence with 13 turnovers. That's led to 15 Carroll points. Carroll with 11 turnovers led to 13 Providence points. Argo bench. Significant advantage in the scoring column as Dean takes the inbound at midcourt. And Dean's fouled immediately. She crosses half court by Molly Schmitz or check that Kennedy Cartwright. So Cartwright sent in to foul her third. And it'll put Dean at the line. Dean eight for ten has a double double in the ball game. And she'll get two free throws here with the Saints leading by five with 34.1 remaining. And the first free throw is up and it spins out as Tristan Murphy checks in. So at worst, it'll stay a two possession game as Dean missed an opportunity to make it a three possession game as she made them both. Her, her, her second one is on the way. This one's good and it's 70 to 64. 30 seconds to go at the PE Center. Maldonado near corner, Randich open three, good. And a timeout by Providence. And they take the timeout so that Rochelle Sayers will have to burn one after the timeout so that she can advance the ball. But it's 70 to 67. And that missed free throw right now, big for Carroll because otherwise it'd still be a two possession game as it is a one possession game with 25.7 remaining. But Providence is out of timeouts. They do have the possession arrow if they can force the tie up here. And as good as this game is, we still have another battle coming up. The bottom of the hour, well, when this game's done, as the 22nd ranked Carroll men, 9-0, take on 
Providence, which is 6-1 and one on the year. And a timeout taken by the Saints, so they'll down to one. And Coach Sayers calls the timeout to advance the ball. So the Argos will send out the small shooting lineup along with Tristan Murphy. It'll be Randich, Cartwright, Schmitz, Maldonado, and Murphy. The Saints will go with Johnson, Lyman, Dean, Denny, and Salonen. Saints will inbound right at the scorer's table at the coach's box. 25.7 to go. Saints up 70 to 67. Dean trying to get free. Salonen, or Denny gets it into Salonen, right back to Denny, and she fouled by Maldonado. And that'll be her first. Then it'll put Christine Denny at the line. And Christine Denny is two for two on the year from the free throw line, averaging seven points a game. She has 13 tonight. Also has a big block shot a couple of minutes ago. And the sophomore from Fairfield, Washington. Puts up the first free throw, and it's good. Nothing but net. And it's two-possession game, 71-67. Now Murphy in and Cartwright out. So a little size with Murphy, who has the four fouls. Now Denny Sackett one, big one. It bounces around and drops in. 72-67, Saints by five. 20 seconds to go. Hazard works her way down. Layup. Missed the layup! And the ball loose on the floor. It'll stay with Providence. 13 seconds to go. And unofficially, that's the 11th shot that Providence has missed within four feet tonight. They've missed a ton of point-blank range shots. As Maldonado, 10-footer, good. 72-69. Six seconds to play. Lyman trying to avoid the foul. Finally, Randage comes in, and Lyman will head to the line. Jaden on the season. Two for two. And the sophomore from Spokane will try to do what the sophomore from Fairfield, Washington, just did, and that's hit two free throws and make it a five-point game, and the first one is up and good. She, and I love Jaden Lyman. She gets the ball from the official, doesn't hesitate, doesn't dribble, just gets it, shoots it, and makes it, and it's 73-69. And the second one is up, and this one's also good, and it's 74-69. And the Saints are going to come with a little pressure in the backcourt with four seconds to make Providence. And now Hazard, three, blocked. And the Saints with an amazing come from behind 12-point deficit first quarter to get the win in the first conference game of the year. Your final on the Bud Light scoreboard. Seventh ranked Saints, 74. The 18th ranked Argos fall for the first time with 69 on the board. And we're back with a postgame show in a moment. This is Carroll College Basketball on Sports 94.9. Home for the holidays, that's where you'll want to be when you get your new reclining furniture from Rutgers Furniture. When you shop Rutgers, you'll choose from the largest selection of reclining furniture in the Helen area at holiday sale prices. Choose from many styles in both fabric and leather, and many styles are available in power. Tolman Financing is available with approved credit. Ask for details. From my family to yours, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Hear ye, hear ye. I bringeth thee a message from him, <clears throat> a message from the king and his new trumpeteer, Stephen. The king wishes me to convey his favor to thine team and thine tailgate. Not yet. He invites thee to let the bot light flow forth. And he also wishes me to tell thee that he toasts thee. Waiteth until the end, Stephen. With game day's favorite light logger and the slogan of his kingdom. Oh, dilly dilly. Enjoy responsibly Bud Light Beer, AB St. Louis, Missouri. Adults, this winter, have yourself a grown-up snow day with winter tires from Michelin and build a snowman on a Tuesday. Between November 14th and December 14th, you can get a $70 reward card after submission with purchase of four new Michelin passenger or light truck tires. Serving customers' needs yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Save at Eagle Tire across from Eagle Loop Express on North Montana. See MichelinMan.com. 